Hey guys, how do you do? I come in to you to make a quick training video. Alright, we are going to review a Popstars tool. It's a great app that can work with a big number of social networks and analyze any kind of accounts, both yours and of other people. And today I will show you how much it is useful if you want to take Instagram to the next level, if you are Instagram advanced user. It has some built-in analytics that can help you to keep your finger on the pulse on what you are doing and it can give you uh, ideas for new tags, new subjects and in general what people are using up to Instagram world. You just have to go to Popstars. And there we have. I'm already logged in with my Instagram account, so if you want to log in, you just have to click on an icon with Instagram and then enter your login and password, which you usually use while entering Instagram. It is that easy. And now the next step. We have to choose what is to be analyzed. There are three variants. Uh, you can put into the line uh, names or addresses um, or account, URL or hashtag. Today I will use addresses or accounts. Um, I choose for that accounts of JLo, Beyonce and Gianluca. So I just copy them from Instagram and put them into the address bar one by one. Then I press search and the plus. Then I need to choose the period and analyze all the publications. Okay, so basically what first comes up is your feed. And what do we see here? In this area we find all the posts of our chosen accounts, one under another, and in the beginning of the work all of them are sorted by likes. Here we see that. Here are the number of different sortings and filters to make our work more comfortable and fast, and it is important to understand how to use them. Ok, look here. If you want to range the post by the amount of likes, comments or engagement rate, or the date, uh, you just have to press the button once or twice. In such way you can find out the most popular posts and the most commented posts in any account. And you can use filters in the same way too, you can switch them on or off or just ignore them at all. That is the post without any text. That is the post uh, posts only with the pictures. without any pictures, only videos, only videos here. With links or without links. Uh, one more useful thing here is the filter by phrases or words. 
So, for example, I enter the word way, and after this we see in the feed only those posts where this word is used. Also, there is a new feature. It is text referring, and to start analyze, press the button with letter T. On the left side, two new charts have appeared. Uh, the words and words uh, according to engagement rate. While clicking on any of the words uh, in these graphics, we see all the publications which include this word. And we can apply all the sortings and filters to these posts too. Ok, what else attracts attention? About pictures we see uh, the date, the time of posting, and uh, how many likes, how many comments it earned, and what is the value of engagement rate of the post. Clicking on the picture or the video we can see it in the original quality. And if you want to see the publication in Instagram, you just have to press the button link. Just like that. And you can also share this post with your friends in different social networks. What else? Um, we can add the post to your favorites uh, and in the process choose the preferred tag. You only have to press the needed button. And of course we can make a new tag just like this. Generally, it is very useful, and I will show you that in brief. So, press the favorites in the top. And here you see all the posts you ever add uh, to favorites. You can sort and filter them here too. Ok, um, I'm going back to show you other features. On the right side uh, is one more interesting block. Here we can manage our batch loading unit. So we can clear the list of accounts, pressing the clear button. And we can delete them selectively by pressing the crosses on the pictures. And we can rename the list. For example, and if the list was created just now, we can save it for the next usage by pressing the star. Also, we can go directly to the Instagram accounts from this list, just clicking on the names. Below we see the short statistics of all of these accounts. And yet, there are three buttons to clear, 
to hide and to export the information to different formats. What else? After all this, you can generate short comparative table. Here is the same information as in the beginning. And you can also export the data about an account into Excel. And now I will show you the main things for which this video was intended. I'm talking about statistics. So look at the left side of the screen. Here is the block with a big number of different graphics and I can select all of them or explore each of them separately or by pressing a small picture. Also we can export uh, the info into different formats too. I press select all. Instead of feed we see the list of charts and the feed is moved under the graphics. Here it is. We can change the time period by moving this slider. We can download, we can save, annotate and print charts. Every account has its own color for comparison. And we compare the publications from the downloaded accounts between each other for the similar period. Here we see an alliance of posts by various criterions. Words. Words with engagement rate. I told you about these graphics earlier. Then we see an alliance of posts by days of week, by time of day. Engagement rate post by day of week and time of day. Relative activity by days of week and time of day with uh, its text length. Then by likes, by comments, by engagement rate. By the way, looking here, we understand that the followers of Gianluca are much more active than the followers of Jennifer Lopez and Beyonce. The bigger part of subscribers puts likes or writes the comments to him. And then we see charts about posts, about posts by text land, and so on and so on. And in these graphics, uh, we see the total number of posts with different types of attachments. I mean photos, videos, links and texts. And below we see the info about average engagement rate of the posts with different types of attachments. It is useful to know which type of content is preferred by followers. In this chart, we see how much attractive were the publication for the followers, which include hashtags from the graphic. Pressing on any of the hashtags, we see below only the post with this has hashtag. Okay. Mm. 
One more graphic is about relative activity by type of hashtags. And I think that uh, the quantity of different charts can gradually increase. And I have the information that soon the new function will be added. Posters will track user statistics. OK, so you can find the link for this tool in the description for this video. And if you enjoyed this video and it was useful for you, then put your thumbs up. And if you have any questions, write them into the comments and I'm gladly answer all of them. Thanks a lot. See you.